Hello, today I'm going to show you how to upload and customize your wild dog avatar. First, you grab your Unity package that you received in the email. Go ahead and click on that. It will automatically pop into Unity. Let me say import. It will take just a second to load in all the assets. Then we're going to click on the start here scene. That's going to load in pre-made avatars. Then we want to go to the uh, asset store. And uh, you'll need dynamic bone. So it may not automatically appear like I have here. So you just search for dynamic bone. Click that. And if you have not already purchased it, it will co cost $20. Otherwise, you just say import. This is what allows the uh, cape and tail and ears to uh, move reactively as your avatar moves around. So now that that is loaded in, if we hit play, go to scene, we'll go ahead and select the upper level there, you can see the uh, bones move all around as we move the avatar around. All right, get out of play mode. To customize your avatar, you're gonna have that. It's gonna look blue like that. You wanna click the arrow there and click on body. And then over here, there's gonna be a tab that says blend shapes. We open that and there's adjustments for accessories and for body proportions. Like we can change the size of the hips breaths, and eyelashes. We can also, if we're not feeling in quite so a morbid mood, remove the uh, skull mask. And if we're a bit chilly, we can add a scarf and a hood. I have a few more uh, different items you can accessorize with as well. We also have a, another model over here with a fancy cape that swishes around. We can add a uh, hood to this model as well. And a scarf. And remove the badge. And add a fancy medallion. Now you're very stylish. Once you have your avatar set up how you like it, including any uh, changes to the uh, texture down here so that you could recolor the cloak or whatever, you'd have to do that in Photoshop or Blender or another uh, texture painting program of your choice. After you have all that done, we'll go to the VR Chat SDK, show control panel, builder. If you want to build one with the cape that we're just working on right there, it's like Wild Dog with Cape. Let me say Build and Publish for Windows. Now you'll be at this screen where you can uh, change the image here by going back to the uh, scene and moving around the camera. Maybe you just want to use the uh, little uh, image I have back here. So I think that looks pretty nice. Go back to game.
They have a nice little thumbnail. You name your avatar, put in a little description. Uh, if you've done any customizations and you don't want them to be clonable, you leave, leave it set to private. And then you affirm that everything here is accurate. You have the rights to upload and you click upload. You wait for it to build. And then you're able to uh, play as your Wild Dog Avatar in VR chat. You do need to be a uh, new user level or higher. Visitors or new players cannot upload avatars, so you'll just need to play a little bit more before you're able to upload. I hope to see uh, more wild dogs running around, and please feel free to share with me your custom creations. Thanks and have fun.